only issue, my only issue is, bro, this is your kinfolk. This nigga ain't your kinfolk. Why this nigga feel like it's okay to disrespect your kinfolk? Hold on, big up. Okay. Okay, so so your question was that he went to my kinfolk job and he pressed my kinfolk. Was so, a violation. Even okay, though listen, he, hold on, he, listen, hold on, hold on, listen. So I'm I'm finna break all this down. I'm going to break everything down, how everything occurred and how everything transpired so a nigga can get, get, get this out of their mind, whatever, whatever narrative a nigga trying to run, okay? So, I'm at home. I'm finna go on vacation with my wife. I ain't worried about no internet shit, my nigga. I'm on my way to go out of vacation. KP called me and told me he had a fight with my kinfo. So, the first thing I did was I got on live because... I'm going to let my kinfolk tell his story first. So I get my kinfolk. He's at work. So I got him on speakerphone. And I let him tell his side of the story first. Jinx get on there and tell his side of the story. And then KP and Zay get on there and say what they want to say. Zay kept calling my kinfolk a bitch. And my exact words to Zay was this right here. Hey, hold on, bro. I'm going to let you get your rocks out, but you're going too far. You never said that. Say, you yes, I did. I don't know what part of the live you watched. I don't know. Hold on. I don't know what part of the live you watched. But I definitely, I definitely told Zay that. I definitely told Zay that. It was my exact words today because Zay kept on saying, my bad, Kobe. I know that's your kill folk, but he'll be, I said, but he called him a bitch about five times. I said, hold on, Zay. I'm going to let you get your rocks off, my nigga. But all that bitch ass shit, we ain't gonna keep on doing that, my nigga. Now, whatever y'all got amongst men, one on one on one, if it's two men fighting one on one, I ain't got shit to do with it. Kim folk, brother, nothing if they fight one on one. So, like I said in my live, if these niggas happen to do something to my Kim folk the wrong way, and there's some jumping shit going on, KP I, I already know who I'm riding with. It's certain shit. It ain't no question on who the fuck I'm riding with or when my loyalty lie. Just like when my kid folk got off your live yesterday, I called him. These are people that I really deal with off of the internet besides KP, bro. These are real Austin niggas that I grew up with. This shit that we doing on the internet don't pay no bills, bro. This shit don't pay no bills in my household. Nigga, my daddy died when I was 10 years old. You want to know how many homeboys is in my living room talking about they going to ride and die? Like seven of them. You want to know how many of them was right there when my daddy died? All seven of them. So all that extra shit don't mean nothing to me talking about niggas in this net. You want to know who took care of me and my brothers when my daddy died? Not now, nigga. So excuse me. If I ain't down to risk my life and my freedom and everything I got going on for no motherfucker. That's what you have to prove something to niggas on the internet. You feel me? I'm a grown man in real life. Bro, ain't nobody telling you to go fight nobody. Ain't nobody telling you to go risk your life with nobody. All we basically saying is this man is your cousin and another nigga's on your platform disrespecting your cousin.